In this video, I'm going to give you a full rundown of Clay, how it works, and how you can use it to start automating some of your next prospecting or outbound ideas. This is going to be a full high-level overview of the tool and its functionality, as well as some of the cool use cases that you can do with it. Clay primarily consists of four different elements, data sources, data enrichments, AI tools, and external technology connections. Data sources are pretty much ways that you can import data into Clay. Clay has a bunch of native data sources, and you can also do external data sources that aren't natively available in Clay. To see what type of data sources are available, all you have to do is go create new and table, and you'll be able to see a variety of native sources within Clay. For example, finding companies from LinkedIn, businesses from Google Maps, people from SalesNav, contacts from HubSpot, a CSV import, or even connecting your own webhook to pretty much import whatever data that you want live. Importing data into a Clay table is just like importing data into a spreadsheet, but ideally in a more cohesive and connective way than just importing a bunch of spreadsheet rows kind of carelessly into a table. Some data sources require API keys, and some of them you can just do for free. Others might cost a clay credit. So let's just say you want to find accounting firms with between two and a thousand employees in the United States. You put all that information in and clay pops out that information. From there, all you got to do is import it into a new table and it will look a little something like this. Now going into the second main component of clay, which is a data enrichment. A data enrichment is anything in clay that you use to find additional data on a prospect. So for example, if you click add column here and add enrichment, there are a series of data points that you can very easily find in clay. You can pretty much find any data point that is publicly available online. But for the more basic use cases, it's very easy to find something like company revenue. And all you have to do is go to these series of data providers to find that company revenue. So for example, you can enrich a company with Clearbit and something like this pops up. You'll see here that there are several different fields when you click on a data enrichment that may be required of you or optional for you to input in order to get that data. For example, a company domain is absolutely required in order to enrich a company via Clearbit. However, you can supplement this data by including a LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, URL, or a company name. Those optional things are necessary to actually run the enrichment, but are great with supplementing that data for higher accuracy. You can also do something in Clay called waterfalling data providers, which allows you to find data with an even higher accuracy than before. You can see here that we're going to use Clearbit to try to find the company's revenue. And if it can't find it there, we then try another integration called Owler. This allows us to use several different data providers to find one data point, ensuring the highest possible accuracy you'll be able to get from any other tool. Here's another example. When finding a work email, we're using six different data providers to try to find the email. So if this can't find an email, it's going to try this one. And if this can't find it, it's going to try this one, etc, etc, etc. And all you need to do is input a name and a company domain. That's literally it. It will find work emails for pretty much anybody that you can think of. If there's not a data point you can find using native enrichments, you can use an API to connect any API for any data enrichment provider into Clay to find that information for you, making it incredibly open source. The third thing that comprises Clay is the AI enrichments. AI enrichments allow you to use AI to either write snippets of an email, make deductions about a company, make assumptions about a company, or pretty much do anything that OpenAI can do by itself. Let's say I'm trying to find whether a company is B2B or B2C based on their company description. All I have to do here is go browse to their templates, find classify as B2B or B2C, put in the company description and click use template. You'll see that this area right here fills up with the prompt. This can be a prompt of your own or it can be a prompt from a template. It doesn't matter. So if I wanted to, I could delete this entire thing and just say, tell me a funny joke about the company name based on their description. Here is their description. And from there, I can just throw in their company description, click save and voila, we have a joke. Why don't skeletons use bland marketing as SEO services? Because they already have no buy to impress in the search rankings. Horrible joke, but as you can see, it is able to do it for all of our companies right here. There are so many different AI integrations that you can use within Clay, and all of them are super powerful. One of the most powerful ones that I'll highlight really quickly is something called Claygent that actually allows you to scrape the web to find any data point you could possibly imagine on the company. And when I say any data point, I mean anything that is publicly available online, you will be able to find using Claygent. I used it to find really niche data points, such as maybe past webinars that they've hosted or where the founder went to school. It really doesn't even matter. Like you can ask Claygent to find it and it will find it using the right prompting. Finally, we have our external tools that you can connect to Clay to send your data wherever you want. This could include automation tools such as Zapier, email sequencing tools such as Smart Leader Instantly, or CRM such as HubSpot, Sales Loft, or Salesforce. Pretty much any technology you want to connect to Clay probably can be connected via either an API or a native integration. For example, if you have a bunch of companies that you want to send over to your HubSpot, all you have to do is click Add Column, Add Enrichment, HubSpot, and you can go ahead and create or update any contact by just connecting your account and then putting in whatever field you want to put in. As you can imagine, combining these four elements of Clay into 
one workflow can provide some really, really powerful use cases, such as creating an entirely automatic AI email machine, enriching a CRM for data points that no other company has, or creating workflows within your company that can save your team thousands of hours of time. It's really just a matter of toying around with the tool, using different data providers, and eventually combining them to solve whatever use case you have in mind. I figured I would go through a quick workflow in Clay to kind of break down how you can combine these different elements for a really, really cool campaign at the end of the day. So first what we did was we used LinkedIn as a source and imported all of these companies into Clay, just as I showed you earlier in the video. From there, I used an enriched company integration to find a ton of different data points on the company. All you have to do is put in the company's LinkedIn URL and you can get all of this information. The thing we were looking for most specifically was the company description. There's a few other data points that we deemed necessary for the rest of our workflow. From there, we used ClayGen to find the office address of a lot of the companies. If it was publicly available, we could usually find their office address with a really high confidence and we're able to find some incredible data points with regards to their office address. From there, I used yet another integration in AI to give me an example as to what they do based on their description. So I fed their company description into this open AI prompt. It popped out a little blurb for what each one of these companies does. Empowering, educating young women for investing in strategies, defining diversified letters of credit, venture capital for early stage bioscience ventures. It will pretty much give you a rundown of whatever the company does just from the prompt that I fed it and it did it for all the companies in this table. Another thing that AI is really good for in Clay is actually augmenting data to look the way you want it to. In this case, I figured when I'm sending out an email to a prospect, I don't want to mention, hey, saw you lived on 30th Broad Street, 14th floor in New York City, New York, 1004 US. So long-winded, it's obvious that a robot is sending that email and I wanted to make a better email to send. So what I decided to do instead was to go ahead and casualize that location by feeding it the current one and then just telling it to give me a location that sounded more human-like. Mentioning this location in an email relative to what it gave me before is significantly better. From there, I actually use a Yelp integration to go ahead and find businesses that are nearby this company's headquarters. My thought was I would invite them to a dinner nearby where their company's headquarters was to sell them on our commercial real estate services, which is the example use case for this table. All I had to do was put in dinner as a search query, the office location as a result, and you can see here that it popped us out locations for dinner nearby the company's headquarters. From there, I could actually find people who worked at that company who held certain job titles. For example, you're able to find founders, co-founders, CEOs of the company very easily using LinkedIn, which you can then write to another table. From there, I use yet another source in Clay called Finding People from LinkedIn to find the founders, co-founders, CEOs, and presidents of all the companies in my original company table. This was done automatically, and you can see all the company data is still right here, my previous table. And from there, I use the work email waterfall to find all of their emails right here, completely validated and able to send to them, normalize their company name, and then you can go ahead and just send it to your email enrichment tool instantly. And voila, you have yourself a completely automated email machine sending out personalized emails to each one of these people. If you want to see what that looks like instantly, we have a bunch of different variables. Each one of these is filled with a data point from Clay. And if you click on preview, you can see that it writes a customized email to each one of the people, companies, including the office address and a location and a dinner location near their office. If you want to see some more specific videos on how Clay actually works, I'd highly recommend checking out the other videos in this channel. This one was kind of just an overview as to how it generally works, but hopefully it was helpful and still provided you some value. And if it did, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to just DM me on LinkedIn. And I hope that you got something out of this. Happy prospecting.